most people get into romantic relationships to satisfy their personal needs. Unless they are highly compatible with their mate and they had good relationship models and they were well guided by others as they grew and matured in their relationships, this is not sustainable. In addition, old models of dependency are falling out of favor and people are expecting more and more juiciness in love and in sex. Hello, my name is Valdo Latterman. I'm a relationship coach. I started The Vibrant Couple a year ago to further my purpose of liberating love through connection and playfulness. Welcome to our new series, Becoming a Conscious Couple. But what is a conscious couple? Let's take a look at this man and this woman. I work primarily with heterosexual couples, so please pardon my saying men and women. What I'm going to share with you applies to any couples of any sexual orientation and any gender. And because I work primarily with long-term couples, I'm going to assume that this couple has gone through the honeymoon phase where you basically have a cocktail of drugs that basically keep you high all the time and have learned to become in love with each other. There are four things that this couple does. They cultivate their partnership. They learn to better relate with each other. Sometimes, actually often, growth is uncomfortable and they choose growth over comfort. And they practice relating often through disconnection, through moments where they feel upset with each other, where they feel their hearts are closed, but they decide their practice. And really importantly, for me, practice and play are the same, but when they are in sync, they play with each other. And so let's dive a little bit deeper. The cultivation is the I, the you, and the we. And, of course, the glue, which is basically sexual intimacy. They do the hard work of learning to relate with each other. And they practice. For me, love is an action word. This is something that you do. Of course, I, like you, I have wishes and dreams of unconditional love. But as a human with all my limitations, for me, love is practice. Polarity, of course, refers to the masculine feminine polarity that too often has a bad rep these days. I made a video recently on the polarity to explain how we can better tap into it for juicier and happier marriage. Today is a very short video to set the stage for what a conscious couple is. I'm going to do a number of videos over time talking about all these very important points. In the near future, I intend to do a video on curiosity, which I believe is one of the key pillars of becoming a conscious couple. I'm going to do a video on learning to fight well. I believe that we have learned to fight against each other. What if it was possible to fight with each other towards becoming a better couple. And I'm going to do a video on co-regulation, which I believe is paramount if you want to become a happy and conscious couple. If you want to be notified when I publish these videos, please hit the like button and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you very soon.